originally selected for the squad, in my opinion today, man of the match for the for the Simone side. Is the NRL back on your horizons after the World Cup? Oh, look, uh, no, if it does, if there, there is any offers, you know, I'd love to take it because um, you know that's where myself and my wife's um, families are. Um, but you know, I'll just um, you know, keep enjoying my, my rugby over here for the time being. Um, yeah. What other plans for you this year with Salford? Where do you think you can go after getting to the World Cup final with Samoa? How are you going to take that into pre-season and the and oh, big season next year? I just think you know, I could um, you know, take what I learned you know, with the, the NRL boys here and the young boys and you know, take it into our Salford team. You know, um, you know we've got that attack you know, in Salford. I feel I could just add my experience um, you know, to, to the team and, you know, and, and be a leader for, for, for my team. And what was it like going up against Callum this afternoon, obviously teammates? Yeah, look, um, he had me on my toes. I knew he, you know, he's a class player, um, Cal. So I had to do my homework, you know, during the week, you know, on him, uh, not just myself, but my whole edge, you know, because we knew the threat he he posed and you know what he did to us in that first game. And he's, you know, well, I think he's been the best center in the in the tournament. So um, uh, I had to make sure I was out there for 80 minutes, and they always just giving him pressure. You weren't in the squad to begin with. What were your plans for the rest of the tournament? Yeah, it was. Um, just yeah, just be a supporter and get behind the boys, um, you know, and just you know, be one of the, the the fans, you know, in the crowd, um, you know, being there and done that. So I thought I'll just be spectating and, and watching them to be called back in. You know, it's a huge honour because any chance um, or any time we get to put this new jersey on, means everything to me. Are you plan to buy some tickets to watch the games? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I was planning to get to a few of the games. Save yourself family. some money, then. Yeah, yeah. So you know, definitely, um, you know, save myself some money. Yeah. What about next week playing Australia? Oh, definitely. You know, just to um, you know, make it into the grand final. You know, we already made this year, but you know, we're, we're going to that game, giving it our all. You know, we're going to leave everything on the field just like today. And we're gonna, um, you know, we know the, the best team in the world. Um, we know what to expect. We've just got to compete you know, every second, every minute of the game. You must have to pinch yourself but for what's happened this year so far. You resurrected your career with Salford, didn't you? Yeah, definitely. My wife and I talk about it every time. They almost giving it up in 20, um, 20, what are we, 2022 now? In 2021, um, <laughs> almost giving it up. And, and then, you know, just to come here and found my love for the game again, um, it means a lot and, uh, to finish up here. Uh, to, uh, nice and you seem very calm, but I'm assuming in the dressing room right now it's anything but. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, some ones, you know, we, we like to, to party pretty hard and make a lot of noise when we, you know, when we get um, our wins. So, you know, now the boys deserve, you know, to make every noise. And you know, I know people back home all around the world you know, are making all that noise. And, um, you know, we feel them, we hear them. You know, this one's for you. What will this mean to the, the people of Samoa, as you say, at home and all over the world? Yeah, it means everything to a small nation, you know, a small island. Um, you know, you can see the boys when we're out there, we're not just doing it for each other, but we're doing it for all those people, you know, back home. So, um, yeah, you can feel it, but, you know, their spirit travels with us. And of course, you know, next week that even though there might not be thousands and thousands of Samoans out there, any England fans who bought tickets will certainly be supporting you yeah, next week. Look, you know, you know, especially being at Old Trafford, so that's where I'm from in Salford. Um, you know, so all you Red Devil fans, um, you know, please get out there. We're going to need all your, your singing and chanting.